All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is make a part. Um, I do it about from the center front, and you want that to be a center part. So you can see I'm spraying it because I have a side part, so get it nice and wet. It'll help you make a, a straighter part. And then once you've done that, you're going to need to take the just the front the front bit on each side um, and smoothing it down to make it nice and straight. Anyway, then you're going to take the uh, just the very front and top piece on each side. Um, and you see this is going really fast because I'm going to do it again because I mess up. Um, but what you're going to do is make a pin curl on each side uh, from the center part. Anyway, here we go. I'm redoing it. Um, so what you're going to do, take that front, center, top piece, those are going to be your bangs. Um, so if you have bangs, definitely use your bangs in that section. Um, get it nice and, and wet. Um, make sure your, your parts on both sides are nice and neat. And then to make the pin curl, you're going to pull it across the side of your head. So um, for the left bangs, pull them across to your right and for the right bangs, pull them across to your left, and then you're going to roll, make a pin curl, rolling the hair back out around your fingers, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, you don't need to do the whole strand of hair, um, depending on how long your hair is. You, you really just need um, about to your chin, um, maybe a little less than that. And then just pin that in place, nice and secure, um, doing a cross of bobby pins, or even just one, depending on how well you can get that to hold. And then you're going to repeat that on the other side. So separate out a section from just the top and front. Um, make sure it's nice and neat. As you can see, I am making sure to do very painstakingly. Then spray it, get it nice and wet. Um, you can do these the night before if that's what you want and then they'll dry on their own. Later you'll see I use a hair dryer. Um, if you do this night, the night before um, or if your hair dries really fast just a few hours before then your hair should dry and, um, and you won't have to do all the, the blow drying. You'll see me do in a bit. But anyway, so wrap that around your fingers, roll back out. Um, and that's going to give you that nice volume for her bangs. Let's make a nice tight pin curl. And you're just pinning that out of the way. You don't need to do the ends because you're going to incorporate the ends into, um, into the side sweeps that kind of go over her ears. And as you can see, I'm now separating out hair to do that. Um, go from about the middle of your head to just behind your ear on each side, and separate out um, another couple of sections of hair. And those are gonna those are gonna be the uh, the sweeps, the nice sweeps of her hair. Then you're gonna make a high ponytail with just just half of what's left of your hair. So you can see I go from just behind my ears towards the uh, kind of high middle back. Um, and I'm making a nice ponytail out of that. Make sure it's nice and smooth, um, but try not to catch the, the rest of your hair. You do want to leave some hair just hanging down your back, um, and that's, that's going to be the nice pretty curls later. There you go, just make a nice ponytail. Um, make sure it's nice and high so that you'll be able to see your bun um, when your uh, head is straight forward. As you can see, I'm checking to make sure it's visible. <laughs> here I explain a sock bun. If you've never made a sock bun before, cut the toe off a sock and just roll it. Um, you see I use a black sock. See I'm rolling it. You kind of make a little donut shape out of the sock. Um, I use a black sock because I have dark hair. If you're more blonde, you can use a white sock. Um, but definitely like a long ankle ankle sock. Maybe not, maybe not quite a knee sock, but you could use a knee sock. Um, the bigger a sock, the bigger a sock bun you'll make. Um, put that around your ponytail. Down just around the base. And then you're going you're gonna to need to lean forward, get another ponytail holder, then lean forward and just kind of smooth all of the hair from the ponytail around it so it covers the sock. And that's going to make a really nice, neat, tight bun um, and add some volume. So if you don't have a whole lot of hair on your own, you're adding volume to your, to your bun as well. Um, this is definitely the trickiest part. If you can get a tight uh, scrunchie, you won't have to double wrap it. Uh, you can just slide one 
ponytail holder over the over the bun. Um, I think I'm gonna double wrap it. Yep, there we go. Double wrap it. But if you double wrap it, it tends to see it gets a little bit more messy. Um, <laughs> and then just part the hair down the the front, kind of brush it out of your face so you can see what you're doing. Um, and then you can see I'm gonna take some pins to pin it closer to my head so it's not that kind of funny shape. Then you take um, the section of hair from the ponytail that's left in the front. Brush most of it to the back, but take take a good solid section from the front. Um, hopefully you'll have long enough hair to do this. If you don't, you don't need to do this. This is just to make it look nicer. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna cover the sock bun so you don't have that little swirl that makes it look like a donut anymore. You're gonna get rid of the donut. Um, so as you can see, I'm smoothing it. You just want to take that section, pull it tight over the sock bun and then pin it in the back. Um, and you can see I have a couple of little stray pieces falling out. Um, just push those to the side or pin them out of your way, whichever. Um, I'll pin them out of the way in a minute. But yeah, so then you just take some pins, pin it down in the back, and that'll cover your bun so it looks like hers. Just that really, really lovely kind of um, covered bun. Now you see I'm putting more pins in to secure, to, to make the sides nice, neat, and tight, um, and, and low on my head, and kind of tuck away all those stray pieces. There you go. Oh, I guess I fidget with it some more. <laughs> Making it nice and tight in the back. There we go. All right. Oh, no, not ready yet. <laughs> As you can see, I... I I'm very anal and that I want it to be nice and neat and perfect, but it never will be. Alright, good enough. Get your curling iron on, um, because I'm gonna, gonna use that in a bit. Um, I use, I think it's about a one inch. You can use bigger. I, I just like smaller, it makes tighter curls. Um, so now I'm trying to dry my pin curls. Um, it's not gonna work terribly well. If I had, if I had let them dry for a couple of hours, it would have, but I have very thick hair. Um, but anyway, so then I'm going to show you something else you can do to help get that volume is dry it across. So you see the, the right section I've pulled across to the left and then blow drying it across that way. And then I'm going to roll it back. It's pin curl. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, by blow drying it across the other side, you'll um, help create that volume. But you want to make sure to pin the other one out of the way while you're blow drying one side. Make sure the other is pinned away um, so you don't you know, blow dry it back to the side it belongs on. Um, you can, as you saw me just do, you can add hairspray to help it stick and see. Let's make an even bigger volume. Um, so then to, to kind of help get volume on the sides as well, um, I'm going to spray a little bit of water, a little bit of hairspray, and actually blow dry the sides forward. So again, have your bangs pinned up so they don't get affected by all of this. There we go, more blow drying. Um, so blow dry them forward and that'll help get that really nice volume um, when I sweep up the side. Alright, so here we go. So let down your bangs. Um, <laughs> Hopefully by now they have that, that really nice fluffy look. You can spray them more if you want an even stiffer, higher um, sweep fluff. You can see I, I'm brushing them out a bit to make them smoother. Definitely brush up so you um, maintain the volume. If you pull down, they'll come down. Um, and you can see here I'm testing out the sweep and it's not doesn't have enough volume. So what I'm going to do is from the side sections um, give it up, self. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take just the back of each side section, so divide the side section in half, and I'm gonna rat or tease that with a comb. So you just kind of, without pulling the comb out of your hair, just push it down towards the center, towards your head, and that'll create that tangly rat mess, and that'll help add some volume. Um, I would say do so more um, lower, because you'll need more volume lower. And then you just sweep it up, pin it into your bun, as, as you can see I'm doing. Just kind of 
pulling it to, uh, to where I think it needs to be and then pinning it up into the back and bottom of the bun on each side. This is definitely going to depend on how your hair is, how long your hair is, how thick, um, and, it, and it takes a lot of playing afterwards as you see I'm about to do. I'm spraying it to make it neater, tucking bits in, pinning different things places. And then when you're ready, make sh um, if you have real bangs like I do, then you have to pin your bangs into that sweep. But definitely do the sweep first. Um, and the way you're pinning it, you're kind of pinning it in the middle to help enhance the, uh, the bump of her bangs. And it definitely, it definitely can take a bit. Um, you'll see I, I play with it a lot on both sides. Mostly because the rules of nature say you can never get both sides to look good. You can only get one good looking side and the other is a mess. Um, well, maybe not a mess, but they're never even. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> so you'll see I, I just play and fidget with it a lot. And that's, and that's really what it takes. Um, as much as the process can be standardized, it's also very individual. And will just kind of depend on how your hair falls and moves and how thick it is. Hairspray always helps. And lots and lots of bobby pins. There you go, see? So once you've kind of pinned the bangs in, a, in kind of the middle of that sweep, you can, you can actually push the hair up to make even, even bigger bumps of volume if you want. And then uh, you can comb or brush a little. Um, see, I kind of just take that whole sweep out because I don't like it. Um, definitely be careful when you comb or brush those sweeps because if you, if you do it too much, you'll pull them out and they'll get really messy. Um, you want to just do it gently to help neaten. There we go. And I pop off camera to change because it was getting really hot. <laughs> and I'm just fidgeting, tucking more, making stray loose ends go places. Um, hide them away. But then when you're ready, uh, start curling what's left. Everything down the back should be curled. Um, I would definitely suggest nice tight ringlets. Um, but you can do looser curls. You can see I just kind of do loose, fast curls. Um, but if you take smaller sections, you can do really nice, tight, pretty ringlets, and that'll hold for longer. And then the rest of it is just neatening. Once you've gotten the curls done, you've already done the hard part. The hard part's the bangs. There we go. Look, curls, bun, sweeps. There's just a couple of final touches. There we go, gold band. I'm using a scrunchie. Usually I use a ribbon because as you'll see this, this kind of scrunchie messes my bun up a little bit. Oh look, I've got a bell shirt and adding the bell earrings. Look at that. There you go. So that's how you can turn into bell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was definitely fun to finally get around to making it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope it helps. Let me know, shoot me links if you use this. I would love to see what y'all do. If you improve it in any way, let me know. Thanks again.